Hey there, this is Valentine and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how you can publish a Docker image from GitLab CI. And I'm going to use the built-in container registry that GitLab offers. So I have here a very simple website. It's being available in public and just contains an index.html file. And I want to put that inside the Docker container and to publish it. So the first thing that I will need is to create a Docker file. If you already have a Docker file, that's great. But I will start first by creating a very simple Docker file. So the Docker file contains only two simple instructions. I will use Nginx as a server and I will use the Alpine version, which is pretty, pretty small. And the only thing that I've added is to copy the public folder to this public folder within the Nginx server. Now the next step is to create a GitLab CI pipeline. So what I'm going to do is create a new file. I'm going to use a template. And I'm going to apply a template for Docker. So first of all, this is a template that comes automatically from GitLab and makes our job a bit easier when it comes to publishing things. So as it says here, it definitely needs a bit of changes. The second part of what has been added is something that we don't need because this deals with branches. We're going to keep it only for master. And let's call it simple docker build. And what this will do is pretty simple. We're going to define here a few stages. Let's say stages. So this will be the build stage. It will use the latest version of Docker and would also add this service here, which is Docker within Docker. And this is something that is needed in order to get this to run within GitLab. Other than this, we're gonna use the Docker login. And these are variables that will be automatically populated by GitLab in order to push information to the registry. This will build the image and then we'll publish it in the registry. We don't need a master, so let's give it a run and see how this goes. So now if we look at the pipeline, we'll be able to see that everything was built successfully. It's a long log, but there are no errors inside it. There's here just a warning and I'll show you how you can manage that as well. Then on the left side, going to packages, we can view the container registry. And this is the latest container image that has been built. From here, you can access this information and deploy it anywhere. So you don't need to rely on an external container registry, for example, like Docker Hub. You can use the container registry from within GitLab and keep your images private. So let's quickly go and update a few things. So in order to get rid of the warning, because as you've seen, we have used the password here, we have to do it a bit differently. First of all, we're gonna use a token. This is the CI build token. And we're gonna pass it to the Docker login. And this means that this part with the password is no longer needed. And we're gonna specify to simply use the password from the standard input. Dash dash password dash std in. So that's about it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the section below. Give this video a thumbs up and see you next time at another tutorial. Bye bye.